you know why we're here today. Pat McGrath just revealed her new holiday 2022 collection. I have been waiting for this collection and it is a lot to digest. This is much bigger than I thought it was gonna be and I'm so excited to go over everything with you. Now before we get into it, this is just a shopper drop. I do not have the collection in my hands. I will be there with you, ordering it with you on launch date. But I just wanted to go over my excitement, my first impressions of what we're seeing, share some of your guys' thoughts and some thoughts from the community that I've gotten. Let's go ahead and get <laughs> into it. So we're gonna leave some space over here. It is Sunday afternoon, so I have my chill makeup on for today's video. Let's go over to Pat McGrath's Instagram. Let's watch the initial launch video collection together. I haven't fully finished it. I've seen the photos on Trend Mood, but I wanna watch it with you guys. Now this collection is called the Celestial Nirvana holiday collection 2022. Now they don't have a launch date yet, but you can sign up on the website for early access. I already have, and I will share you guys the details when we have more details, but let's see the visuals here. Now keep in mind, Pat McGrath's visuals on her website and what she posts online are very highly filtered. So that's why I'm anxiously waiting for all of the details to show up on the website so I can really dissect, but let's see what we have with what we're given. So you'll see immediately, this is a very large collection. Pink packaging had turned me off initially. Okay, pause here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I have some more photos for you to see where we can get a closer look, but Right up my alley, look, Pat McGrath still has her signature gold, her signature <laughs> reddish shades right here, but it's parted into three different kind of look. This is the Pat McGrath look right here, what she's comfortable with. This is what we've all been wanting and it's purple and blue, so you know I'm in love. And then we have a neutral one with pop of green. I'm very happy with this so far, but let's continue looking at what else we have. Dying, living, breathing over these palettes right here blush quads, and then a highlight. Now, I don't know if these are gonna have new shades or not. They are called the Divine Blush and Glow Cheek Palettes in Divine Rose and Nude Venus, which are shades that already exist. So I imagine that there's gonna be existing shades in these quads. I don't know if all of them are gonna be new, some of them, how they're gonna do that, but this looks exciting. This is the first of this format. I really hope a lot of them are new shades. It's okay if there's one repeat, but as a collector, I really hope they're all new shades. So we'll see. But it looks like there's one that's more appropriate for light to medium skin tones and then one potentially for more deep. That's my guess. We'll see as we get more photos. And then look at these. We have Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palettes. So these are little five pan palettes. So not only do we have the classic big one, these I'm almost more excited about because these look super glimmery, shimmery. This might be what I've been wanting this whole time. It looks like we have the gorgeous glimmery shades from Pat McGrath. This one right here looks stunning. It's nude, but this one is more neutral down here. I'm pumped about these. Okay, what else, what else? Then we have a blush and a highlighter with a crazy embossment. Looks absolutely adorable. So the blush is in the shade New Venus 2, and the highlighter is in Venusian Nude. And then we have a collection of lipsticks right here. It looks like this is a Nude Venus lipstick, and then this one is Forbidden Love. And then we have the Velvet Coal Eyeliner, which is back. This came out with the Bridgerton collection. And then there's more, I will show you, but this is kind of the main stuff. Oh my gosh, I love this visual. You can kind of get a better idea. I don't know how much it's filtered, but I think this is the perfect combination of Pat McGrath getting what she wants in terms of shades that she loves, as well as what the Pat McGrath fan has been asking for in terms of just getting out there, a little out of our comfort zone here. So I'm excited about this. This is exactly what I had envisioned and wanted in a holiday palette from Pat McGrath. It looks stunning. It looks like there's a lot more mattes in this one compared to last year's. Last year's, it was very heavy on the shimmers, but I'm excited about these two here in the center. Oh. 
Oh, here you can get a better look at the blushes and these. I really don't know what's going to be new and what's not, but I'm going to pick up both of these for sure. Mm. New to Lore looks stunning, but I want both. I'm drooling over this collection. This is definitely my favorite holiday collection I've seen, and she really went all out. You can kind of see the different packaging here. Okay. And this is what is also new that wasn't in there the first half of the video, colored mascaras. One of you guys said something really funny that I'll share when I go over the community thoughts, but okay, I probably won't purchase any of those. But that is the collection. That is the reveal. I'm so excited. Luckily, Trend Mood has some still shots for us to take a look at and of course photos that we haven't yet seen. Uh, so I thought this is a really great photo of the entire collection. I don't think I'm going to purchase the whole collection. It depends on how the bundles are. Right now we can't see the bundles on the Pat McGrath website because I don't need this guy right here because I already have it from the Bridgerton collection and I haven't used it yet by the way. I don't know about the lipsticks yet if I want them or not. It just depends on how things are bundled but I imagine this is going to be like a $500 bundle. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I Well I want to but I don't know if that makes sense for me and my budget but I definitely plan on getting the big palette, the blush palettes, these palettes, potentially the blushes. I don't know if I need the individual blushes. And maybe, you know, what if the individual blushes are in here? I don't know, you guys. The highlight I'll get because I love that. I mean, this is a big collection. She really went all out. I knew she would. She normally does for the holidays, but I feel like she definitely took it to the next level this time. I'm so excited. This palette is so much better than last year's. I did not really care for last year's and I can't believe it. Now she normally does the big palette with like a couple quads. I love that she changed it up and did a quint. I really do. Now there's nothing on prices. We have no information on that. When Pat McGrath updates her website, I might do another video depending on when she does it and how much more information we have, but I can't wait to see the prices on this. Pat McGrath has slowly been increasing her prices, so I imagine she'll probably increase the prices on this one a little bit as well. But I'll let you know when I know. I'm looking at the side. You guys can't see this of what Trend Mood has to say. We have the big Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana palette right here. This has mattes, metallic, and metallic sparkles. I don't think there's going to be any super special shades, but we'll see. But so in love with this color story, you guys. This is exactly what I love. I just feel like we have the purples. We have the neutrals. It's colorful, but not too colorful. I'm pumped for this. I was worried when I saw the pink packaging that it was going to be pink, and it really isn't. I mean, yes, up here is. This is this is Divine Rose 10 over here, but we have all of these, and I'm, I'm a happy camper. I really am, especially for it being in a big palette because it's going to be so great for beginners to the brand, and you're definitely going to have colors that have never existed in the Pat McGrath line before. And then you can see the anatomy of the palette right here, how they parted it into three different looks blue violet cool a neutral section and then a warm section absolutely love that this is definitely from her website she normally does stuff like this and then we have this celestial nirvana eyeshadow palette now this has a new formula according to trend mood it looks like it's going to be a really metallic formula maybe not quite as sparkly as the celestial shades that we're used to but this looks like it's gonna have like a really slick creamy feel I, obviously i don't know but i love the nude mauvey shades but i also love that there's a true neutral one this bronze bliss i'm equally as love with both of these like these are my kind of color stories excited about that and then we have the two divine blush and glow cheek palettes they look stunning. Okay, okay, here tells us about the new shades. So this top one I believe is Nude Venus, and it's gonna have a new Divine Rose 3 blush in here, and then Sunset Nectar. So there will be a mixture of best-selling shades and new shades. I'm not mad at that. I wish it was all new, but I can totally understand why they didn't do that. Okay, and then the bottom one, I believe, is Divine Rose, which has Desert Orchid 2, Nude Nectar, and Peony Rose. At least that's all of the information that Tremood can give us. I'm gonna get both. Now that I know that there's new shades in here, I'm gonna get both. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, and then here we have the Sublime Skin Highlighter in Venetian Nude, which is a peach nude with silver sparkles. We'll absolutely be getting this. This is normally around $60 from what she's launched in the previous holiday collections. I normally love these, so I'm excited about this. And then we also have this Divine Blush in Nude Venus 2, which looks very pretty. It's a peach nude with a stain or satin. I don't know if there's a typo here. Pearl finish. Looks beautiful. That looks like a gorgeous nude. I don't know how it's going to look on deeper complexions, though. And then the lipsticks. Oh, you'll see they have an embossment in here. I'm not too keen on the red, Forbidden Love. I don't need another red lipstick, but Nude Venus looks right up my alley, right? Are these pre-existing shades? Forbidden Love definitely is. I think I have Forbidden Love. So if it works out with bundles, we'll see what I end up with. But if I don't get a bundle, I don't want this one. Nude Venus is a nude shade. It's nude coral and it is new, apparently. So I like that lipstick. Don't need it. I don't love Pamagrass lipstick formula. I think it's fine, but... It looks like my kind of color, you know? Okay, and then here's what I'm like, bleh. Dark Star Mascara in these colors. I mean, it's cool. It's Pat McGrath's vibe. But is it, though, now that she's so into, like, the neutral tones? This seems kind of old school Pat McGrath when she would kind of play around more with colors. Anyways, I will probably be passing on these. The Dark Star Mascara is flaky. I don't love it. I like it. I don't love it. I don't need it in these colors. I never reach for these colors of mascaras, but some people do. So if you're into that, you have these. But I don't think these are going to be a top seller by any means. So I'm not as interested, but I love the packaging, right? And then, oh, it looks like so we have some new lip trios here. These are good for gifts or if you don't have a large Pat McGrath collection. Very nice to build your collection up here. Like this one looks really good. This is the Mini Nude Venus Lip Trio. Interesting. And then this is the Mini, I can't read the word on here, Lip Duo, which looks like it has lip balms. These are always nice to have. Normally though, I find that these go on sale. So just keep that in mind. You might want to hold on a little bit. And then this came out in the Bridgerton collection, which I have it. I still have never used it, you guys, but I won't be picking that up if it's not included in a bundle. So yeah, is that it? That's all we have, right? Yeah, okay. So anyways, overall, I'm really, really excited about this collection. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I asked on Instagram for you guys to give me your thoughts, and you guys are the funniest. I'm just going to pull up a few of the early ones that were sent in because early bird gets the worm, baby. Uh, so let's see what you guys have to say. So we have a gorgeous... I can agree with that. <laughs> I like it. We'll be buying as the first mega palette that you own. This is a good one because it's so different from the rest of her line. I feel like especially last year's in particular, that one you could get if you owned a lot of other Pat McGrath palettes, the color story up. This one is definitely a little more unique. The blush palette would have been perfect if it had a bronzer. I'll still take it though. Yeah, Pat, we're waiting on those bronzers. It would have been more of a versatile palette, absolutely. But yes, I'll still take it though. You are right. <laughs> we gotta stop digging around the bush. Where are the bronzers? Well, I would have put money on you. We we're gonna get it this summer since bronzers were so popular. But of course, summer's over. We don't have bronzers. So maybe next year, kids. Maybe next year. I love that all of the color Pat McGrath is not offering on the luxury palettes or in the holiday ones. I mean, I wish she'd offered them in the luxury ones, but I'm happy that we are at least getting them in the holiday ones, right? Pinks again? Or is it just me? I mean, there are some pinks, yes. But I'm so focused on the positives of this palette, of it being different, that I'm not as bothered by the pinks. Like I said, we'll let her get what she wants. Just a little taste. A little gold in there. A little warm brownish shade. Reddish shade. I'll let her have it. I'm happy with what she did here, personally. I don't know about the Mega Palette. She looks so random. Love the highlighters, blush, and six pan. So I think you have to look at the palette as three different looks and the three different sections that we saw in that picture earlier of like a neutral section, a warm section, and a cool section. And I think that will make it make more sense. Looks like all repeat blush shades. So we know it's not, but it is a mixture. But how different can blush looks anyways? Five pan eyeshadows look the most exciting. You know what? I can kind of agree with that. I think I'm the most excited about the five pans as well. <laughs> the mascara looks horrifying. Who would actually wear that? 
I wouldn't. <laughs> I absolutely love the larger eyeshadow palette. The rest of the collection is meh for me. Oh, come on, the five panners though. Blush and five pans, yes. No to all the rest. Large looks thrown together in my opinion. Okay, very fair, very fair. OMG, she finally gave us color. Now we need a mothership like this. Amen, minus that warm side. Aw, nothing really interesting. Agree to disagree. Looks very similar to what she released in the last two years. It's the, definitely the same like large mega palette. She always launches little mini palettes. So she has a formula for what she's gonna launch, but I don't think the colors are repetitive. I mean, they are a little bit, but I don't think it's too bad personally. I just know this is the palette we all have been asking for for bats. I was preparing for a big palette, but the whole collection is insane. So what I thought was gonna happen was she was just gonna reveal the big palette because she normally does do a larger holiday collection. So I was definitely not expecting a launch this big, that's for sure. I'm so happy it's not all pink. And then as I'm scrolling through, everybody's happy. We just got a little bit of color here. The Mega Mothership is kind of boring. But I love the two five pans, but I'm going to get all three, of course. <laughs> Isn't that all of us? I feel like I always go, eh, this palette's meh, but it's kind of crass, so I'm going to buy it anyways. Blush palettes look amazing. Very beautiful and definitely lots of color range to create many beautiful looks. And that's what I did not like about last year's palette is I felt like... I couldn't get a ton of variety in my looks. This one, I feel like it can definitely get a lot more variety. I think Pat also made this collection viable to those who don't like bright colors. I think she did a good job. I, th I really do feel like she found a happy medium. Obsessed with this collection. I'm almost all of, it, all of it. Yes, the mini palettes are exciting. Okay, I think for the most part, everybody is pretty excited about this. Of course, we always have our critiques. But it seems like the general vibe is relatively happy. Wish the tone would be slightly different, okay. The shimmers and glitters are what we're here for and there seems to be a lot of mattes this time. I disagree. I feel like if you want the shimmer shades, the five panners are the way to go. She never launches her most popular formula in the mega palettes. And last year, I feel like we were too bombarded with shimmers where all of my looks look the same because we only had like three matte options. I'm personally happy that there's more mattes in this and the mattes are in colors that we don't have a lot of from Pat McGrath. So that kind of adds that variety. I can definitely see this side because who doesn't love Pat McGrath shimmers? Anyways, I'm excited for this. I'll let you guys know when more information comes out on the prices and all of that and if it seems fitting I'll do a part two shopper drop to this but I am so excited about this collection overall it's the one that I've been waiting to do this video on because she always kills it and goes there so I will definitely be picking up probably like 80% of this collection. We'll see, like I said, what the bundles are doing. I'll let you know what's in my head when I know. And let me know your thoughts below on this collection. I cannot wait to hear your opinion. So thank you guys so much for liking this video. Make sure you're subscribed because I will be updating you on this collection once I get it, once the information comes out, all of that. So if you love Pat McGrath, this is the place to be. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And you guys have a good rest of your Sunday. Bye guys, have a good one.